Hi everyone, I'm very happy to be here. Today on the behalf of the research team, Azuri and I are going to share our conference paper, Applying Areas Framework to Transformation of Design Consulting Industry with 2021 ICED Conference. I'm Shen Hong. I'm Azuri. With John and Dr. Rhodes' support, we work together on this paper. So the purpose of this study is to analyze the transformation process of the design consultancy in the face of challenges presented by advanced technology, economic change, and systematic shifts by applying selected models and tools from the areas, architecting innovative enterprise strategy framework. The study used IDEA as example to discuss the organizational structure of design consultancies and describe how IDEO has evolved in the context of change. As you can see, AREA's framework contains like three major components, enterprise element model, architecting process model, and analysis technique. We are going to use the following case study to demonstrate how to apply AREA's framework. We select IDEO as our case study for this research. IDEO is an international design and consulting firm. It was founded in Palo Alto, California in 1991. The company used the design thinking approach to design products, service, environments, and digital experiences. We can also view IDEO as a collective creative network, including Creative Difference, Open IDEO, Colab, IDEO U, and Experience Innovation. So in terms of our research structure, we apply the selected areas framework to the six phase structure of project. We study IDEO from an organization level to people level and analysis IDEO from diverse angles to synthesize our learnings to help envision the future possible for the organization. We also heard from IDEO alumni and community. People said IDEO is in the process of transformation into a very organic structured company from its loose structure. Or somebody shared with us like, Ideals in the, is the company that has very strong value and culture. We also break down ideal key stakeholders into four categories. So along the same line of value exchange analysis, this step is a critical one for value alignment and prioritization. It helps us identify the gap between the current state and the desired state of enterprise. The color dots on the left presents different stakeholders and the vertical axis rank the importance of these values to ideal. The, vertic uh, the horizontal axis rank the importance of these values to the stakeholders. In our case, based on our interview with ideal, what each stakeholder values essentially became the metrics for evaluating new architecture concepts. So then we map all these values to the two by two chart What's critical for the transformation is the green area. It represents the values that IDEO have not yet delivered for stakeholders. The stakeholder analysis uncovered the talent-driven nature of IDEO. The enterprise faces external challenges ranging from influences of the digital economy to sophisticated consumer uh, expectations. Yet the competition from business consultancies, emergence of in-house design capacity um, of product services companies and rapidly shifting social geopolitical issues have forced design consultancy business to reform in order to keep up. Indeed, a proper transformation needs to be broken down into a roadmap that support continuous delivery. And meanwhile, there's also driv drivers for and against change that should be recognized early in the stage of the risk management. What we presented were the first half of the ARIES framework, but in the future, to capture the blueprint properly, the concept will need to be ranked by the stakeholders and finish the second half of the architecting process. For any large scale complex system, the change is never easy. It may break typical ways of working as the creative of Aries, Nightingales, and Rope Put. It's not just a brainstorming exercise. It needs thoughtful planning and consideration of non-controllable context as well. Throughout the study, 
Aries help us decompose the qualitative nature of ideals culture. It provides a wonderful skeleton for stakeholders to build a new vision collectively and continuously. Thank you everyone for taking this journey with us. Thank you. We hope to see you guys soon in person.